Okay, so being told the to light up. This was a girlfriend that I had. Uh, so she she told me a joke, which I didn't think was funny, and then I didn't so I didn't laugh at it. But this was in texting, so then she tells me to lighten up because I didn't laugh at her joke, I guess. So I didn't like it because it felt like a dismissive thing to say. And uh, so and then so that I I let her know that I didn't like it. But then she didn't, like, apologize for it at all. She didn't say, oh, okay, sorry, I didn't mean to say that to you. Um, I I'll try to not say that again. She didn't say anything like that, which is what I was looking for, some kind of acknowledgement where uh, she didn't mean to hurt my feelings or mean to offend me, something like that. She didn't say anything like that. She was just like, I didn't say anything wrong, which was her position, I guess. Uh, she said how, uh, she, she was divorced and because of that, and she has kids. So she, she says that when she, she has something to say, she speaks her mind. So kind of like saying when she sees something that is true, she's going to say it. She's going to be blunt about it. She's not going to filter her brain at all. She's not going to be careful at all around people. She's going to say whatever she wants. So that definitely bothered me. Because um, I feel like if you're going to be in a relationship with someone, like if you're a friend or if it's a girlfriend, like if, 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 that, if someone says something to the other person that whereas someone is bothered by it, the other person should acknowledge that person's feelings And, uh, like the, like the thing I said about uh, being called a dork, if, if you call your friend a dork and then that person tells you they don't like being called a dork, you should make the adjustment if you still want to be friends with them because you don't want to hurt their feelings. You shouldn't just be all like, well, I'm going to insult you. If I want to, I'm going to call you whatever I want, and we're still going to be friends. Like, you, 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 I guess you can have that opinion, but, like, why would you expect to still be friends with that person? But if you if you want to be in a relationship, and uh, I guess, like, communication, that's, that's the thing. If someone tells you something, uh, like, if, if, they, if they tell you that something that you said bothers them, you should acknowledge it and try not to say that or that thing that that bothers them i guess that's what i'm trying to get at but th this this wasn't happening with this girlfriend which is a joke to call it a girlfriend situation since i only met her once and it only lasted a few months because it, it was like a long distance thing but uh so she tells me to lighten up and I let her know I didn't like being told to lighten up, and she didn't care. She's like, uh, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say whatever I want, and I don't care. So I felt like she didn't care about my feelings, basically. That's the impression I got. Which, so, so I felt like she didn't care about my feelings, so it felt like uh, it was a really crappy feeling. Because we had established... Uh, girlfriend and boyfriend relationship and we had been using the love word back and forth saying oh I love you and I miss you and stuff like that and yet uh, now she uh, now, now we get to this moment where I get the impression she doesn't care about my feelings she doesn't care if she says something to me that makes me feel kind of disrespected or crappy and she doesn't care about my feelings so I'm thinking oh, how how is it that you can love someone and not care about their feelings you don't care when you hurt their feelings how do you love someone and you don't care if you hurt their feelings so it's kind of like 
I didn't feel good about that. So, um, um, that was the deteriorate, that was the point of deterioration, uh, that moment where I realized she doesn't really care about my feelings. So I was, um, I was upset after that and she tried making it like, oh, well, nothing happened. Why are you, why aren't you answering my messages? Why aren't you being friendly? You're like you used to be. Oh, well, how about because you don't care about my feelings? So there's this kind of That's what was going on. So I was really hurt and stressed out about it and There was this moment where I I was it was just I was so stressed out about it, and I cried. And uh, pretty much every, uh, when I think about it, every, with every relationship or sort of relationship I've had, like going back like three or four, every time there's been a moment where I've cried, there's been a moment where yeah, like either like break up or like one was uh, when my ex-girlfriend cheated on me. She actually cheated on me twice, so I cried twice. So yeah, I'm a guy and I cry sometimes. Uh, there was actually a, uh, the last time I cried was not even like there was a, even there was no girl there was no woman involved in it it was just from being depressed i think that was the first time i ever cried just from being depressed just from loneliness basically frustration Uh, this is like a confessional moment here, these videos. Uh, hmm. Is that all I need to say about the lighten up situation? I guess so. Yeah, I we I tried to message her a few times, but like it just I just like she um this girlfriend uh tried to make plans with her, but she was always saying how she's busy and she works a lot, so kind of like all right, fine. Uh so. I just gave up trying because I uh, just feel like it's not worth it. So that's like the whole reason why I was talking about that was to um, explain uh, how my personality is. How um, I am a sensitive person. And if someone says something to me that I find disrespectful or insulting, it's going to make me feel crappy. So that's why, like, uh, like when that other person, this, this stranger, comes up to me and makes this stupid smart-ass comment, like, it bothers me because I'm a sensitive person, I guess. So I'm not just going to laugh it off if someone makes some stupid, I guess it was a stupid, like a joke. Uh, oh, well, okay, but the lighten up thing, like, I guess, like, part of the reason why I didn't like it. 
because it feels like like I'm I find, I'm in general a serious person. There are, there are uh, things that I feel are worthy of being serious about. So it's like uh, yeah. being told to lighten up is like uh, uh, is like saying uh, they don't like how my personality. It's it's like dictating how my personality should be. Like if I'm a serious person. Like, I don't want someone else to tell me to not be a serious person. So that's that's part of the thing with lighten up. It's like that person is saying, when they're saying lighten up, they're saying, uh, my identity is not good enough. If I want to be a serious person, like, that's what I was thinking. Like, like I want to be, if I want to be serious, I should have the right to be serious if I want. Like I I'm I do, I laugh sometimes I laugh at things I find some things humorous, but I should have the right to be serious if I want. So therefore, I don't appreciate being told to lighten up if I'm in a serious mood, or if I'm in general a serious person. So that's why I don't like being told to lighten up. Like I should have the right to have the personality or identity that I want without having someone else telling me my personality or identity is insufficient. So I guess that's that's the thing with that. So uh, yeah, another tangent I went off on with this annoying situation. Because one thing made me think of another thing, which made me think of another thing. So I feel like it's all connected. It's all connected. And it's all an annoying situation, really. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for now. I, I, I wonder, like, I was wondering, like, am I just going to keep making these videos? Just keep adding to these uh, annoying situation videos? I really don't want to because there are other videos I want to make. I don't want to just keep, like, talking about these things that annoy me. But it sure seems like uh, life, life can be an annoying situation in general. But that's kind of a depressing way of looking at life. I don't want to just be annoyed all the time. So, but things, sometimes things happen where, how can you not be annoyed? Especially when it's the same thing that keeps happening. So, yeah, life can definitely be annoying sometimes. That's enough for now.